When cutting a balanced bob, everything's coming straight back to you and cutting it in a line, which is then going to push a little bit of length and weight towards the front. In this particular cut, I wanna find my line here and I want to balance that line as opposed to having it be more forward and closed towards the face. I'm going to cut and actually follow the round of the head. I'll just start my line with the comb, keeping everything high level. That allows me to not push the hair when I go into cut. And then I'll go no comb for the rest. Just work my way across and around, following the round of the head, using just the tip of the scissor. And one little trick, I wanna go just below where I see light in the haircut. So I'll come here and I'll cut just below the line. And then all of a sudden the hair wraps under. Right. And continue working up the head. Just getting that nice balance line. There we go. Do the same thing on the opposite side. There's our bob so far. Anyways, I'm gonna use Neuro Style Prime here. And we're gonna work a flat wrap around the head this way, back this way, and just smooth it out. Notice I give it a little bevel to the end. So all I'm doing right now is just detailing the line. Then once you get that all under control, now I wanna create a nice little soft curtain fringe-ish to go with our curtain cut. So I'll just take some of these pieces and just come in here with the tri razor and just start softening them around the face. Not rushing to get the perfect length right away. Really allowing the tri razor to do the cutting and not pushing into the hair too much. The softer your line will be. Same thing opposite side. Like to cut her bangs this lightweight with a scissor, I'd have to elevate and guess, which is fine. And you're good at it, but if you want to just be a little more creatively just free with it and just draw it in, you can do that as well. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Nice little curtain cut for you all.